Anona Kids Clubhouse. My name is Casey and I'm the Director of Family Ministries here at Anona. And this is a place where we come together to learn more about the big idea. And that is something that God does inside of us to change the world around us. Today is Palm Sunday, a very special day in the church when we remember the story of Jesus being celebrated as he rode a donkey into the town of Jerusalem, which means next week is Easter. I can't believe it. I can't wait. I love Easter. Easter is the day that we celebrate that Jesus is alive. Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we would never be separated from God's love ever again. And on the third day, he rose. But waiting those three days must have been hard. Talk about waiting, that's our big idea. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Today, we are going to talk about the story of Jesus and his journey to the cross on Easter. Let's go check it out right now. Hey, Neil, do you want to go and play on the playground? No. and I cannot wait to share the story I've got for you today. Actually, I can wait. That's the whole point. And you can wait too. Um, Lawson? Lawson! Patience, Mom! <laughs> Mother. Hmm. Ma'am. 
Anyway, so I heard this story from my cousin Tara, who teaches fifth grade. And she showed her class a picture of a dog she rescued from the dog shelter. Oh, look at him, what a face! He's just a cute dog! He's looking at him, a good puppy, he's a good dog! Anyhow, Rashida, a student in her class, told my cousin she was inspired to rescue a dog too. So when she gets home, she begs her parents to rescue a dog. Please, 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 please! And she adds, I'll never ask for anything again, ever! And amazingly, Rashida's parents agree. But mom says, only if you take care of it yourself. And Rashida's so excited, she does a happy dance. And she chases her tail like a puppy. But there's one tiny catch. They told her she had to wait an entire month to adopt the dog. And Rashida's like, I can wait, no problem. But by one week in, Rashida's like, can we get my dog earlier? I hate waiting. This is no fair. And she throws a tantrum. Like a toddler. <laughs> Mom's finally had enough. She puts her foot down hard. Mom tells Rashida they need to make a list of things to do while you wait. And Rashida discovers all sorts of things to work on. She makes healthy dog treats and tests them herself. She practices how to train a dog. Sit, stay, good doggy. She plans out the best route to take her dog for walks on. And she warns the neighbors, there might be a little barking at first. And by the time Rashida's setting up a tiny dog bed, she discovers three weeks have flown by and it's the day to get her dog. And they all live happily ever after. Mostly. So kids, never cuddle a brand new dog without a change of clothes handy. But do remember that patience is waiting until later for what you want now. And I'll see you guys later. Are you gonna say cut? <laughs> cut! Whew! <laughs> All right, do we have any snacks? Jello, friends! Welcome to the Anona Kids Clubhouse Kitchen! Today, me and B will be making Hello Eggs! Um, I mean, hello, friends! Today, me and B will be making Jello Eggs! We're making Jello Eggs because it's almost drop Dinner. roll, please! Easter! That's right! It's almost Easter, and that's definitely something to celebrate. So, we're celebrating by making Jello Eggs! All right, so here we have boiling water. Yeah. Jello. Yes. A whisk. Oh, yeah. A measuring cup. Mm hmm. And jello egg molds. Ooh. Bonnie, could you please add the boiling water and the jello into this bowl? Yes. Oh, so Green is my favorite cool. color. And mix it together with this whisk. Yes. Please. Okay, for sure. How long do I need to mix it? For? Until the jello dissolves. It should only be about three minutes. Hmm. I guess that doesn't sound too bad. Arms starting to hurt already. It must have been three minutes by now, right? Um, no, I would say it's been about eight seconds. <gasps> what? Eight seconds? How? You've got uh, to have patience. It's been our big idea that we have been learning about all month long, remember? Mm -hmm. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. And I know what can help you wait. How about we play a game? Okay. Let's play 20 questions. I have one. Go. All right. Is it something in this room? Yes. Um, do you want to have a hint? Yes, please. Okay, it hurts really bad. Your arm? Yes, how'd you know? <laughs> okay, it's got to have been three minutes by now, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I would say about one more minute of mixing. Mm -hmm. One minute! That's like five hours! Oh, I just want to finish these jello eggs so we can celebrate Easter! And speaking of celebrating, today's story has a big celebration in it, and the people had to wait a long time for it. 
So you should check it out. Okay, Bonnie, it looks like the jello is dissolved. Good job! <gasps> Yay! I can't wait to celebrate Easter by eating these eggs! And me neither. Um, but first we have to put them in the freezer and let them chill. Okay, how long will that take? Mm, not too long. Um, eight hours? <gasps> no! The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, Chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. For hundreds of years, God's people had been waiting on a savior for rescue. Every year at Passover, they celebrated how God had freed them from slavery in Egypt, and they looked forward to how one day God would rescue them again. Lord, save us! The city of Jerusalem was filled to overflowing for Passover, and news of anything unusual spread quick as flame. They say Jesus is coming into the city. That teacher fella? He made somebody alive again, even though they were dead. Lazarus? Well, if you believe that sort of thing. My cousin Sarah saw it with her own eyes. Excitement and tensions ran high in the city, and as the people prepared to celebrate, the religious leaders hatched their own plans. This Jesus is trouble. He says too much. He does too much. Then we'll have to do something about that, won't we? A short distance away near the town of Bethany, Jesus was indeed preparing to make his way to Jerusalem. He called two of his disciples, maybe Peter and John. Go into the village. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Her colt will be with her. Untie them and bring them to me. Consider it done. But wait, we can't just take someone's donkey. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. The owner will send them right away. Oh, uh, okay, good. The two disciples hurried into the village. Jesus didn't say where to look, so, uh, oh. Steady there. The two disciples quickly untied the donkey and her colt. Hey, uh, hello. What, what are you doing? Why are you untying my donkeys? Uh, it's like this. The Lord needs them. Oh, okay then. The disciples led the colt and its mother back to Jesus. They even draped their coats on the backs of the donkeys. There, nice and comfy. Sort of. So Jesus climbed onto the back of the colt and his friends followed close behind as they started on their way down the dusty road towards the city. Though his friends didn't realize it till later, Jesus was fulfilling the words of the prophet Zechariah from hundreds of years before. Say to the city of Zion, see your king comes to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. The road was crowded with travelers making their way to Jerusalem. Other people spilled out of the city when they heard that Jesus was on the way. Praise God. Have you heard what this man has done? People actually began to take off their coats and throw them on the road before Jesus. They tore palm branches from the trees and waved them on high. Hosanna! Some of the religious leaders had joined the crowd to discover what was going on. This whole thing is preposterous. Out of control. So tell him to stop. Who, oh, me? Hosanna! Teacher, teacher. As the donkey carried him slowly forward, Jesus turned to look at the religious leaders. They glared back. Teacher, tell your followers to stop this instant. Jesus took in the joyful crowds. He looked ahead at the walled city of Jerusalem, sprouting up from the rocky hillsides. Then he looked back at the religious leaders. I tell you, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. As Jesus rode on, the religious leaders fell back, grumbling to each other. This isn't getting us anywhere. Look how the whole world is following him. So even though these religious leaders had studied and waited their whole lives for a savior, they didn't recognize Jesus when he came. But still, the people continued to cheer and to follow Jesus into the city. Here's 
the truth. Waiting can be boring, and it's so hard to do, right? Waiting can take a long time, and sometimes it can even feel like time slows down when you're waiting. But just because we're so focused on what we're waiting for, it doesn't mean that God isn't up to something. Exactly. So we should change our focus. Instead of thinking about how long things are taking to go the way we want, let's focus on the creator of the universe. Let's focus on how he has a plan. Let's focus on how the savior that the Israelites had to wait years for has already come for us. And his name is Jesus. We should focus on those things. Waiting can take a long time. That's true, but it doesn't have to be hard. And it doesn't have to be boring. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot to celebrate while we wait. That's the one thing to remember today. You can celebrate even when you wait. Who knows? Maybe waiting can be fun. <gasps> Woo! The Jello legs are ready. I've been standing here so long, my eggs are starting to hurt. Um. I mean, the jello eggs are ready. I've been standing here so long, my legs are starting to hurt. Happy Palm Sunday, friends. Next time we see you, it will be Easter. Yeah. Yes. Woo. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. The people were so excited to see Jesus. They believed he was the savior they had been waiting for. Of course, the religious leaders didn't see Jesus that way, but everyone else chose to celebrate when they saw God's promises coming true. Remember, God is still working in your life, even when you're waiting for something to happen. So instead of focusing on what you're missing or what you wish would happen, you can celebrate what God is doing in your life right now. That's why the important thing to remember today is that you can celebrate even when you're waiting. We can celebrate what God is doing in our lives too. We can celebrate what he's done in the past, what he's doing right now, and what he will do in the future. I can't wait to celebrate Easter with you next week. It's going to be so much fun. See you next week. You can join us here or see us on Zoom at 9.30 every Sunday. Love you, bye!